Tonight at 6, police forced to use pepper spray on students after a fight got out of hand. This all happened in the lunchroom at a high school in Racine. It involved four students, but only three were issued citations. Corrine Zell is live outside Horlick High School with a story that is new at 6. Corrine. The school notified parents uh, about the fight through an automated message. Now, we talked to many parents and grandparents today who overwhelmingly agree with the way police handled things. A fight in the lunchroom at Horlick High School Monday between three female students got out of control. Racine police say 50 to 75 students surrounded the girls during a shoving match. School security, who are off-duty officers, tried to break up the fight. After multiple warnings, police used pepper spray to control the situation. I mean, pepper spray would be the, the least of all of the really bad forces to have to use. I mean, it's not a gun, it's not a knife, so. Lieutenant Al Days says police aimed the spray at the teenagers involved, but other students were also sprayed. Their hands are tied. What are they going to do? A tweet from a student who was in the cafeteria shows an officer on a table using pepper spray. A lot of times these kids just aren't listening. And there's so much of that nowadays. They just have no respect for no one. Racine schools tell us they work closely with police and trust their expertise. That's reality. It's going to happen if they don't listen on the street and they, they're told to stop. You know, so they're, they're going to have to learn one way or another. You know, you want to be a grown-up and be treated as a grown-up, then listen as a grown-up. Not all parents agree. They should do, try to do something better and different. The school says students were disciplined but couldn't go into detail. Police say the three were cited. They also tell us they haven't used pepper spray in area high schools recently other than this incident, but this isn't the first time. Live in Racine, Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4. Well, hopefully troublemakers learn a lesson. Thank you very much, Corrine.